welcome to Stalker Gamma, a mod pack available for free based on the Stalker games from back in the 2000s, a place where you aren't the main character, a place where you are struggling to survive in some of the harshest yet most beautiful landscapes. Radiation and psionic emissions have transformed creatures into monsters, bandits control the roads, the army isn't there to help anyone, and there's a psychotic religious cult who have amassed some serious firepower in the north. The sequel to the main games is actually due to be released this year, and I did have some animation style videos planned out, but I wanted to at least get through one playthrough of Gamma once before cracking into Heart of Chernobyl in just a few short months. So, welcome to my Gamma playthrough, episode 1. We're going to be starting off in the Rookie Village as a loner, and with the points allocated to us, I grabbed the Sunrise Stalker suit, a TOS 106 shotgun, an APS pistol, and a variety of meds and utility items to help out early on, and thus, our journey begins. Right, Rookie Village. Okay, so we've got this cool little uh, health animation set up down the bottom left there. Uh, God, I'm stuck inside the house already. <laughs> Ooh, let's, let's put our stuff on. Uh, Sidorovich, Stalkers, have got some interesting work lined up that you might want to look at. Are you interested in adventure, fame, cash? Come to my place in Rookie Village and we'll talk. Uh, welcome to the Unified Stalker Network. Based on the available data, there are 435 registered individuals in the zone. You use a registration complete. Welcome to the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone Stalker. So we're going to put on all of our gear. Uh, then we need to put on... So we start with an RF receiver, an echo detector, and a PDA. A PDA and a detector on. And I like having my bandages on F1. And my mid gets on F2, so we'll do that. Actually start with some buckshot for our toz and a few rounds for our pistol, so very very cool. So down in the bottom left we got this uh, the, this message here. Looking for an experienced stalker who can lead me to Rostock right now. I'm in Corden, west of the rookie village named Danko Target. So that Danko Target guy should be in here somewhere. Semyon Pai. Look at that. Sick little pistol, dude. No, привет. Our Twilight. Uh, so do you have a HD models, like like a an extra mod on? Um, this guy is fanatic. He's like one of the basically tutorial guys. I think he is like the tutorial guy. <laughs> Hey, I don't think I've seen you around before. They seem pretty new too. I'm the deputy leader of this village along with Wolf. If you'd like, I can teach you some things about the zone survival. Uh, make sure you won't die at the first mutant or anomaly you encounter. Alright, so, we just accepted a, a quest from him. He gave us a bunch of ammo and new mission, training day, boar hunting. So he's going to go and take us off to go and hunt some boars. Oh, shit. Okay, um, I just realized I have my HUD uh, hidden, so when we actually accepted this job from Fnatic, he, he's going to join us with his little, little AK there. Alright, so we accepted the job, and a really, really cool thing about the Stalker is the PDA. So press M and bring up the PDA, I can actually see that this is the location of, uh, of the, the quest. We're not going to go over to do the, the the quest just yet. We do have Fnatic with us. You can see his uh, health there on the right hand side. Uh, nope. Okay. So with a normal companion, you can sort of talk to them and, and manage what they've got. Um, but we're going to go over here and go and talk to Wolf and Sidorovich and, and see what they've got. So I've not actually played Gamma before. Oh, there's a zoom button. Yeah, man, I, I, I did not know that. You have to look up the uh, the keybinds real quick, because I don't want him to come in the bunker with me, because he'll just get stuck and it'll be annoying. Alright, so there wasn't actually any 
any keybind set. So we're going to set it to my left alt. And this is the companion wheel. And if we tell him to wait here, he should just sit here. And we have a whole bunch of other stuff, like stealth and stay far away from me. I don't even know what that one is, but that's like to do with looting, combat, and just his general sort of position with regards to me. Come down here to Zdorovich. Now the thing about Gamma is that traders don't actually sell guns. Так, что интересует? Yeah, so there's no guns that we can we can buy here. Um and that's gonna put a whole big focus on actually like what kind of guns we can find on dead bodies, uh in stashes, uh what we can get from from quests and missions and stuff. Um it puts a big focus on actually disassembling items. Is really cool in in my opinion. So we can actually buy a bunch of buckshot as well. I don't know how much we're gonna need just yet. Buy another twenty rounds. We got, we started off with five thousand yeah, five thousand rubles up there. We'll take that. Um Yeah, I've never used a grooming kit before. <laughs> It's actually used in a bunch of crafts, so we can craft like a, a handgun repair kit with it. Obviously it's gonna take other other items. So we start off with a Swiss knife as well for disassembly. It's gonna be very, very big. Братан, ты не врубаешься? Мне нужен реальный товар. Alright, and you've got information on statues? Six and a half thousand rubles. I don't have that. All right. So when we started, he put out a message on the the PDA network. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, I heard you promising adventure, fame, and cash. Can you help me find the wish granter? So in the the first game, this is actually you chasing down a guy called Strelik. And it sort of leads it the same way as that in Anomaly. Um, and this is Anomaly, but it's just like a mod set for Anomaly. Sure, easy. It's up in Chernobyl, the next bus leaves in 20 minutes. Uh, listen, Stalker. Many people before you have come looking here, looking, here looking for the Wish Granter. You know what they all have in common today? They are all a worm of food, except maybe... Strelok. In any case, the Wish Granite is just a legend, a myth, but the money I offer is real. Work hard, play smart, and you'll be rich in no time. So we can just keep doing jobs, I think, for, for this guy and maybe like buy stash locations for him, from him. And that might be like a really good way to get some stuff. Alright, so how do I get rich? Here, yeah, give me your PDA if you ever find yourself struggling from work or just make... I uh, want to make a little extra, go see these contacts, they pay well, not all, and you'll make good connections along the way. It's honest work, or at least as honest as it gets in the zone, don't disappoint me. Okay, well, is there any work you want done now? Uh, contract killer, a bandit in the dark valley. Alright, we'll take that. Is there any other work? Action patches, that's sort of one we can do passively. So, oh yeah, we do that. And Stalker was supposed to bring me some special supplies from another trader. Location in garbage. Hell yeah. It's there right next. Right next to us. Listen to Norovich, you fat fucking thief. How about a game? Blackjack. What the hell? Uh, I heard that I can exchange armors of other factions for ones of our own factions, right? You had right, okay, interesting. Interesting. Light outfit for any light armor. Oh. Alright, well, we just got a bunch of missions there. Uh, we're also going to see this guy just outside called Wolf. He should have just some, some standard... That kill missions in the area, and while we've got Fnatic with us, it's probably a really good opportunity to do that because he's probably just gonna kill everything for us, actually. 
Uh, so he wants us to kill some mutants in the cordon area. Taurus Safari, some more mutants in the cordon area. But that's going to give us some extra companions on top. Oh, hell yeah. Alright, so we are... Dude, this is a great start. Like, actual great start. Oh my god, you give voice commands? Sick. Look at our boys. We've got a Valak here with an SKS. Fnatic with his little AKS 74U. And Vlad with a striker shotgun. Alright, so what we did there is we, we accepted a bunch of quests from Sidorovich and Wolf. Wolf gave us a bunch of kill quests in the area. Uh, we have this one for Fnatic here. Just training day boar hunting. The Tour Savari is probably over here. And there was another one for Eliminate the Mutant Threat from Cordon up here. So we've got three little kill things in the Cordon area. And we've got three companions with us to actually help us do it. Uh, and then we also accepted some jobs to, well, one, recover Sidorovich's shipment up here. Contract killer. So this guy was supposed to be in the Dark Valley. But, um, I, like, one of the best things about Stalker is that, you know, this guy just isn't going to sit in the Dark Valley. He's got his own agenda. He's doing his own thing. Like, he's living his own life. Like, yeah, he's a piece of shit bandit, but he's going to roam the area and you're going to have to try and track him down. And then we also have uh, Rescue the Courier. This guy was kidnapped by some brigands. Uh, I've agreed to rescue him and escort him back to Wolf. See that bandit's still on the move. Which it looks like he could be coming to Cordon. So to get to Garbage, we would have to go all the way up to here. And then like travel from here to here. It's just a loading screen. That's, that's all it is. But it is a way to uh, separate each of the map. <coughs> Alright, so we're going to go head out and do training day boar hunting. What? <laughs> this guy wants... <laughs> We've just started the game, man. What? Reverse bounty hunt on a monolith. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Alright, so monolith are like the end game faction. And, uh, yeah, that, that's just the death sentence. What about you, Semyon? What do you want? It's a flame artifact. I mean, I'll, I'll accept that in case I ever come across one. I'll, um, I'll try to remember. Okay, we just got called boring. <laughs> just having a little look around, seeing what's going on, and we got called boring. Over there, that's the boars. So, I'm gonna try to get. So, with these guys, you just gonna try and avoid them as much as you can. They hurt a lot. Oh, hell yeah! It's done already, man. We can come over to these these creatures and actually loot some stuff. We have if we have our knife out and press F on them. Uh, get some ball pelt and a ball leg. We'll take it all. So was that done? Can you that was crazy one now? Reach the anomalous area. All right, so we're not going to do that yet. We're going to probably do that on our way back after the. Uh, Tourist Safari and the jobs for the other, like, just kill stuff job for, uh, for Wolf. Start heading up. So these, like, little, uh, pockets here that, that extortions in the air, that's, that's what's called a, a gravity well anomaly. 
And if you get inside of it, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> we saw the dog get torn to shreds just a second ago. There we go. Are you guys pissed out? Headshot him. Stand. Yeah, but he's dead. Man, I started to regret the shotgun choice. It was decorated. Uh, it doesn't have any good parts, but we want that at least. This is gonna be a whole new, like, learning curve for myself. Um, that's because I haven't really played with, the, <laughs> done anything with, like, the weapon repair system or the armor repair system. I don't know if you just use, like, the, the smiths, the, the gunsmiths to do it. So I'm not sure what I'm actually supposed to take. Uh, used in crafting and it weighs nothing, so that's obviously going to be something I'm going to take off everyone. Durability zero. <laughs> that's, that's handy. None of this stuff is going to be very helpful. We can see the condition of the gun is at 11%. Pretty much everything about this toss is disgusting and we don't want to look at it anymore. These guys are shooting over here too, is there another bandit maybe? Wait, is that a stash? A stash! Yeah. I think stashes in camera are gonna be massive. It's gonna be one of the main ways to actually get guns and, and stuff, so definitely need to keep an eye out for them. Uh, but at the same time, I think it needs to be marked on your PDA. So it's not marked as a stash on PDA. That's where we need to go for the next lot of stuff for um, Fnatic. Oh, we need to go over here. For some reason I thought we were going over here. Wait, contract killer? That guy's here! Hell yeah, man. Let's go do that. Oh, whoa! Endurance level 1 gained, stamina consumption improved, speed improved? There's soft skills in Gamma. That's cool, man. That's very cool. I hope they um, become quite impactful. <sighs> Ooh, okay, we've got some, some bandits up here. This is what I was saying, like, my, my choice in guns kind of suck. Uh, they're very, very good for mutants. New money. <laughs> But I have zero range. Oh my god, man. Gamma is so fucking nice. Look at, look at the effects on that. That's so cool. Looks so good. Oh no, 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 no. Excellent. Stood in. Can you not push me around, please? That's uh, a key. It's been shot a lot of times. Down. All right. Look at that. Let's take a med kit. Real quick. <laughs> like half health. Oh, we lost the dude. No. That is not ideal. All of his guns suck. Um, mm. So there was only 
one of the guys for the uh, tourist safari mission. So as long as one of them survives, we should be fine. Get some food there, some matches. Rooming kit. Got a functional tricker mechanism. Yes. Oh, look down the bottom there. It's got 88%, I think. So if if this guy here, if Valak dies as well, then we fail that tourist uh, safari mission. I wonder if this is the contract killer job. Just a no, that's up there. So we might go and try to do the tourist safari and then go back and that in. I don't really want to risk uh, not getting that done. On the bright side, we've got a bunch of faction patches for the bandits. So, when we actually go do that contract killer quest, uh, we should be able to get that done pretty easily. What is that? I hear something over, over the ridge here. Is that a pig? Missed. Oh, two shots at that's right. Oh, um. Okay. Take what we can get from him. Yeah. Right, what is going on with has to be because I'm, I'm damaged. Down the bottom left, my right leg is, is hurt. Yeah, I'm taking damage from running it. Maybe my leg's broken? Can you get a broken leg in this? Good, I guess we're walking. We're chilling. A flesh. For the tourist safari. Any goodies hiding over here? Something on the bed there. That duct tape. Insulating constant. I'm gonna go in there, you can hear the, the radiations. Getting a bit hairy in there, so... There we go, tour safari complete. Let's take what we can get. If we get that radiation symbol, we kind of need to turn around. No? Okay. Alright, let's get back to the, the rookie village one. We'll Arm Valak off, and we'll keep we'll keep uh, Fnatic to help out with this bandit. Oh, that's the, uh, the <laughs> that's the radiation I was talking about. What the fuck is this? Ball. Oh, got an anomaly. That's a junk one. <laughs> Wait, no, it's got a perk. What the hell? Uh, despite appearing as a motted ball of rock and dirt, this artifact is unusually light and bouncy, hence its name. It is believed to be a product of electrical anomalies. When worn on the belt, the artifact generates a force that can activate uh, to repel living creatures, for some reason excluding humans. Uh, to release said force, a strong and fast movement needs to happen between the user and the target. Hence why most stalkers using it resort to simply kicking various mutants. Obviously, the practice of getting this close to a zone inhabitant is not advised. What is that going to stop you? Perk the Nutcracker, <laughs> tier-based artifact, amplifies player's mighty foot and allows him to kick more mutants. 
Wait, resulting in instant death? Each artifact on the belt allows kicking more monsters. Has a cooldown of two seconds with one artifact. Increase with more artifacts on the belt by one second each. What? <laughs> instant death by kicking? What the fuck? <laughs> That's kind. Of, that's kind of crazy. Oh man! <laughs> For the veterans out there watching this, can you imagine uh, instant killing a, a pseudo giant with <laughs> with your foot? <laughs> man, I was just about to say that, like, this area is actually the. The first area I ever remember going to in the original games. So this spot, um, I remember coming to in Shadow of Chernobyl, the very first game, the like very first mission is to come here and rescue a, a guy. What information from Petrenko? Blowout is going to be here within 17 hours, follow the safety procedures. Woohoo, a blowout. For an event and a mission. All uh, all very <laughs> interesting descriptions of of what it is. Let's come over here, let's save our game real quick. Okay, I saved by campfires. And uh stalker anomaly for some reason. When you get that first debuff down the bottom left there, we are actually quite thirsty, so Double click your purified water. Actually, this gets rid of some radiation as well. No, привет. Ah, oh, man, we could have used that earlier. <laughs> oh, well. Let's go talk to Wolf and let's get, a, get rid of. Uh, what's, what's your name? Vlad. Valak. Valak and Vlad. Vlad is dead. Oh, we got 6,000 rubles from that. What a stash coordinate. He doesn't have any extra work for us. Rumors are spreading about your latest effort. Uh, you gain more trust amongst the loners. Very good. Wait there, fanatic. Where's the stash? Hey, the sooner you get an RF receiver, the sooner we'll help out if we can. I have an RF receiver. There's the staff there. Oh, the staff. There's the stash there. Oh, we're actually going up there. So this is in the meadow. Oh, yeah, the meadow. So we can go up here and go to the meadow and go check out the stash and come back. Hell yes. So I just come down to good old Sidorovich here and then sell our ship. He's only going to buy it for 560 rubles. What an absolute weapon. Alright. Oh, let's just sell all that. Alright, so I'm not really sure if this is going to work, but... Try sleeping a bit. See if that's going to restore some health. I think my... What did? Ooh, uh, thirsty. Thirsty. Thirsty again? Damn, man. We need to buy some uh, water when we come back by the, <laughs> by the looks of things. Okay, so we should... We can run freely now. That's good. Whoops, I... I Got to tell Fnatic to follow me. He's 300 meters away right now. He'll catch up. <laughs> I 
Ah, it's just the uh, the anomaly that I'm hearing. Oh my! Oh, wait, that this guy's a mercenary. What the heck is he doing here? That guy's a mercenary as well. I died. What is going on? Are these guys freedom? Why are you not worried a bit? Okay, I killed him. There we go. What? Ты рассказать чего хочешь? I said. Mercenaries here. Important. What the hell are you guys doing? Oh my god, dude! Look at that gun. Attach the scope. Like the aim pro. Some five, five, six rounds. A PDA. Nothing good on this gun, though. So we're not gonna strip it. Nothing good in that pistol either. But like mercenaries here in Corden, it's very weird. I don't even know what's going on with those guys. I don't know what that uh what that faction symbol is. It was freedom. They they that freedom. I just looked it up. They're freedom, like I don't yeah, that, that sounds like it's coming from the farm up ahead. So the farm is like a, a loner little little base. Definitely want to go and help him out. Contract kill quest is over there. It's like just over there. All looks well, I guess. Who are you guys? You okay, you're loners as well. So any work you want done, it's a ball pelt. Oh. Kinda wish I didn't sell those ball pelts now. <laughs> Remember this guy at the farm right now, if we come across... Uh... Shoot, we do have some creatures to kill. Yeah. So actually, let's, let's go back and we'll accept this so we know where this guy is in case he leaves. I'm gonna try to take on the bandits over here. Just over here somewhere. Oh, they're shooting at us! No way! Sniper Toz? Oh man, what a, a sick little... Ah, still more. I don't know if that's hit. Sniper toss, dude. <laughs> wow. The trick mechanism at 64%. The cartridges. It's gonna be seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah, see that mission updated mobbing the mob too. Hell yeah. It's all coming together. We actually have a meadow just over here and we can go and check out that stash. And we'll come back. Alright, so this is gonna be our, our first like fast travel interaction. So we need to go to pretty much just like a predetermined location. Right there, on the PDA. On the map, rather. You can see it on the PDA pretty easily. Alright, the meadow. I've... I don't think I've actually been here before. But I'm pretty sure it's kind of just like one big loner safe zone. Oh man, I love the animations in... Oh dude, it looks so good. 
The anomalies look amazing in Gamma. This entire world of Gamma looks so good. Got someone any work done? No. No. Ah, where's this stash at? Are we gonna be the inside of the the vault anomaly? Uh it's radiation. Dude, it's inside. It's like over in that back corner, is <laughs> Got some vodka in case we get heavily radiated. I'm gonna go back to the village down here. I'm gonna save my game. So I'm fully expecting to die. So do they have a lit campfire already? They do not. So let's light this campfire. Save the game. Let's, uh, let's head on back up there. Let's see what we can do. It looks like I could maybe hug the left side of that rock. So I drink that vodka, was it vodka? What's the stash mean? <coughs> it's back here? It is the car. <laughs> Have we got out of that? Off a med kit. Yeah, getting messed up from from that radiation. We are not going to die, but it's going to cost us a lot. So, when we get out of this, an autumn stalker suit. I think it's good. <laughs> um, I'm only basing this off of the base ruble cost. It's in very, very poor condition, but. It's so got something else. Maybe a weapon mechanism kit or something. Uh, I know there's a sleeping bag in there as well. Damn it, that, oh, dude, that costs us a lot. Oh, we're still getting fucked by the radiation. Lose any more health? Have any more med kits? Three more. Okay. Pop another med kit and we get back to full health. Oof. Hey, obviously, I I could just like reload my game because now I know where the stash actually was, <laughs> and yeah, it could have been in and out a lot easier. But we're not gonna do that because. To see how far I can actually get without dying, without like doing some kind of weird cheese mechanics. Um, not an Iron Man one life playthrough, so that it doesn't really bother me dying, but uh, I want it to be like a proper death, you know? What is that? Is that another ball? Normally? Oh, what we get here?
dragon's eye, the side effect is sometimes formed in thermal anomalies. It's the appearance of a reptile's eye. It has a very dangerous and volatile property associated with it in some peculiar way. Uh, when the user of this artifact secures a kill, there's a small chance of a violent explosion to happen within the victim's body. Killing or hurting anyone in the any, uh, and anything nearby. The more superstitious say that it's the zone ripping out violently the souls of fallen beings. Most just prefer to avoid using the artifact altogether because of the stories of people getting caught in such explosions at unfortunate distance. 5% chance that the shot would be explosive. Upon killing an NPC or mutant with explosive shot, it will explode violently. Explosions cause uh, spawn meaty Gibson as everyone in the radius. User's discretion is advised. Damn, man. <laughs> cool. I, th I, I heard something being ripped apart in a... They call them a whirly gig anomaly. I sort of just looked up and, and saw the dragon eye anomaly rolling down the hill. Oh, that was our first stash. Um, I, I'm not sure if this is good or bad. It's going to take a lot to repair it. Uh, we're going to keep hold of it for now. Don't really have any reason to get rid of it. It doesn't doesn't have any good um, any good parts that we can strip it for, and I can't sell it. So we might as well just put it in a stash at one of the bases. Alright, well that's the fleshes. What should we... Is that a boar? No. I was actually hoping for a boar because we had that guy who needed a boar pelt. Oh, I missed. Still one of these fuckers somewhere. So that APS there, it's, it's actually full auto. I don't know if you guys knew that about this gun or not, but um, that's kind of why I chose to be it over the PM pistol. Was that delay? Ah, oh, there we go. Nothing useful. Yeah, I shot and just like nothing happened. <laughs> that's super good. I think that's everything in Corden up apart from uh, the finishing of training day. So let's go and do that. Campfire here and add voices. It's the freedom guys still. Like I know freedom had like sort of loosely allied with the loners, but I mean, if I'm shooting someone two meters away from where you're sitting down, why are you still sitting down? <laughs> all of this stuff here is new to me. Uh, all of the uh, the crafting stuff for, for ammunition. I'm not sure how any of this works. Okay, the trash compactor anomaly for you. It's the fanatic. Let's light the camp. Fire? Am I on fire? God, it looked like I was on fire. 
save that game. Let's actually need to come over here a bit. Stay with me, Mr. Fanatic, sir. Here we go, what do I need to do now? So, this pit is full of gravitational anomalies. See that artifact over there? It's just a loaf of anomaly spread, ignore it. But also, in this pit is a jellyfish, and jellyfishes, along with every other artifact, have both positive and negative qualities. It's quite fortunate that one is here. Now, let's talk about the equipment you should have for artifact hunting. Looks like you already have an echo detector. All detectors, while active, register the presence of artifacts and measure the distance to the nearest one. They're a basic requirement for finding any artifact that isn't just junk. When you hear it beeping, then you know an, artif an artifact must be nearby. The more frequent the beeps, the closer the artifact. Unfortunately, this old model can't detect all types of artifacts, but it should be fine for your attempt today. Better models have better detection range and abilities. Now the second tool, a lead container. Do you still remember the talk about artifacts and their positive and negative qualities? Just about every artifact worth carrying is radioactive these days. A lead container can completely seal the artifact inside, keeping you safe from its radiation, but also prevents you from using it, its other effects until removed. Without it, your ass would begin glowing and you'd die in less than a few hours of carrying even a single artifact. It's quite heavy, but better safe than sorry. If you actually want to use an artifact on yourself, it's best done with a more advanced container. Scientists call them artifact application modules, which will protect you from the rads without blocking its other qualities. Sidorovich sells all of this from time to time, but he usually saves the AAMs for more experienced stalkers. Good to know this container sure is heavy, alright, what's next? Next is this bottle of Nemirov. Like I said, almost all artifacts are radioactive these days. Even if you bought a lead container, the anomaly field itself is going to give you a little glow. This bottle will help you... Uh, Ah, some of that glow out of your system. Right. Oh yes, bolts. Uh, never forget about these before jumping into anomalous fields. Throw some around to find your way through the surrounding anomalies. That's all. Let's go. I'll cover you from here on. Let's see what's a battery artifact. If I ever come across one of them, I'll, I'll come back to him. So, I think it's six for our echo detector. It's going to beep when we get close enough to a, uh, actually, an anomaly. No, no, an, an art, yeah, there we go. Right, so to actually get to the, the jellyfish, we're going to kind of follow this beam thing and jump onto those boxes and then onto that tree. It's over there somewhere and then we uh, pretty much just follow the same path back out. The anomalous bread. Don't want that. Yes. There it is. Got the bread on the way out now, I guess. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh damn, man. I over jumped just a little bit there. Chuck that vodka. My arm is. <laughs> we are fucked. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh, that's right, I need to put the... I need to put the jellyfish in the container. Yeah, where are you, fanatic? Are you still here? It's over here somewhere now. There you are. Hey, I got the artifact. Very well, I can see you'll be an experienced stalker one day. Let's get back to the village and continue your training there. Okay, let's go. Baron, today, please. 
Hey, he's coming now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to use another med kit. <laughs> Come on, fanatic. Come with something tired. Alright. Uh, you seem to know the bare basics now, but I've got an extra challenge for you when you're ready. Ready? What's the challenge? Find the stash. Okay, we'll find the stash. But for now, let's get rid of this freaking jellyfish, dude. It's gonna kill me. Привет, брат. So we don't have a good enough um, container or a good enough suit to actually handle the amount of radiation that's that's coming out of it. So we need to go and sell it. Oh, the job is done for you too, contract killer. Oh, and and handing in the faction patches, huge, huge. Let's get rid of this real quick. Wait, I can't sell it here? Trader isn't interested in items like this? Which... Oh wait, maybe he's only interested in the... Maybe interested in the jellyfish, but not the... ...container. Oh, he's not. Alright, we need to go put this in it. Stash real quick. There we go, we'll put that over there too. Put all of our kits in there too. <laughs> I need some water, so might as well use the purified water to get rid of our radiation instead. Um, so I picked up that PDA earlier, and I'm pretty sure I can sell it to this guy. Yeah, 2300. It's encrypted. Dude, I couldn't get anything out of it. What do you mean? Buy some purified water. Or buy some med kits. 3,000? Oh, we've got 30 grand. Okay, well, let's, let's buy the medkits. <laughs> let's take some sleeping pills. She's gonna need to take the vodka because I'm gonna die from the radiation. And we go to sleep. You're irradiated, seek medical attention. Okay. Sleep for a good bit. Okay, do. Five o'clock in the morning. Nice. Okay. Woke up after seven hours. <laughs> oh, we are hungry and we are thirsty. Drink some water. Wait, why am I getting irradiated? It's the bread, dude. The freaking bread. <laughs> it's gonna get killed by some bread. Oh, man. Let's go and hand in our rewards from Wolf. We did a couple more things for him. Okay, we got a stash received for him as well. Uh, I'm gonna do this as well. It's gonna give us a couple of companions for our uh, journey up to Rostock. Considering that guy no longer wants a a guide, let's get an AK too. Oh yeah, man! Look at him go. Then you get a little pistol. <laughs> Alright, so it's the tourist safari, we're gonna go just there for that, but we're gonna be starting our journey all the way up into the garbage area. So we went to the meadow earlier. That little fast travel thing. You do the same thing to get to the uh, to the garbage area. You can see we've got a couple stashes on the map now from the the jobs we've done. We've got one here, one here, and uh, one in the swamp over here. Can we, yeah, 
Got some ground to cover. Gonna go start things up by going over to the uh, tour safari and making our way all the way up here. 